Yo, what it does, CPA strength, strongest CPA in Florida, back at it again, damn Daniel, with accounting for beginners number 20. Can you believe it? We made it to 20? My DC Adler gang? Uh, hopefully we don't get targeted by the FBI. We're not a gang, we're just a crew. We're, we're, we're an organization. I really appreciate uh, all the comments, all the positivity, you know, as I'm helping you, you're helping me. I gotta stay sharp. And you know how they say like, if you can't explain something to somebody, then you don't even really know it. Accounting for Beginners series really helps me to, I think, explain to my clients uh, the basics. It reinforces my ideas sometimes, because sometimes I get a question and they say, why is this? Or, you know, you people, um, <laughs> you people, you people, you people, you guys, uh, <laughs> <laughs> viewers, the commenters, uh, you, you know, you see something somehow, you, you see it different than, than I would have seen it, so I really love it. This one here uh, is Accounting for Beginners number 20, Chart of Accounts. This is kind of like something that's so basic, I, it just has to be done. You know, you've got to know the basics before you can move on. Let's start with what the book says for chart of accounts. Ah! A group of accounts for a business ent entity is called a ledger. Okay, that's great. A list of the accounts in the ledger is called chart of accounts. That's what a chart of accounts is, huh? A list of accounts in the ledger. And the ledger is a group of accounts. A list of accounts is the chart of accounts. So, you know, in my last, in my last video, I, I talked about abbreviations and don't abbreviate and be lazy. There's not only an abbreviation for chart of accounts, but most of the time, uh, the word says what it is. It's a chart of accounts. I would just think of it as a list of accounts, personally. Okay. The accounts are normally listed in the order in which they appear in the financial statements. Okay, and I've said before, it's balance sheet is the big dog. Balance sheet is the big dog because that goes from year to year. And then underneath <clears throat> is the income statement. And that's just, uh, that's just for a, period, a certain period of time. <clears throat> that's how the chart of accounts are listed. The balance sheet accounts are listed first in the order of assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Ooh, okay. Assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. That is the uh, accounting equation, assets equal liabilities plus equity. Alrighty. The income statement accounts are then listed in the order of revenues and expenses. Okay, the income statement. Revenues minus expenses, that's the income statement. Five accounts in the chart of accounts. I'm kind of feeling the red pen today. Okay. For the chart of accounts, of course, I'm going to start off with my DC Adler because I like to show how applicable that is. DC Adler. Debits, credits, assets, draw, expenses, liabilities, equity, and revenue. Don't freak out here. We don't need... For the chart of accounts, we're not, we're not really concerned with <clears throat> if it's a debit or a credit for the chart of accounts. I'm going to cross these out here. All right, cool. So then I cross those out. Look at our DC Adler. There's only gonna be five boxes in the chart of accounts. Like five boxes that the chart of accounts could go. <clears throat> the chart of accounts is either gonna be an asset, and that's the first one. It's gonna be a liability. That would be the second listing on the chart of accounts. Now this one, equity, equity is going to be the third. And so I have put the draw into the equity because there's not, there's not an actual, um, on the chart of accounts, there's not an actual um, group, grouping or, or box that's draw. It, if, uh, I think this is 20, uh, Accounting for Beginners number 18 talks about draws and how it reduces equity. So in the charts of accounts, 
uh, in the balance sheet, it's just listed under equity. So there's your third box. The fourth box that a chart could go on, that, that an account could go on in the chart of accounts, is a revenue. The fifth one that I could go on is an expense, or an expenses. So as you see, DC Adler works beautifully again. I think you're going to have 10 different accountants or bookkeepers, and you're going to have 10 different, you're going to have 10 different chart of accounts. You know, someone's going to put something somewhere, like ink for your printer. Well, that, someone might put that in supplies. Someone might put that in office expenses. Someone might have a section for printing and reproduction. Someone might have a section, a separate section for just ink. Or se not separate section, I'm sorry, but um, different account names in the expenses. It's a beginner series, and I, I will get, we'll get a little further, we'll get a little harder as we go on. You know, I, I wanted to get this in before we go further, because you really have to know the basics before you can go further, and, and that's, just, that's just the truth of the matter. In summary here, for a chart of accounts, you're going to have five different, five different boxes. It's going to be an asset, it's going to be a liability, it's going to be an equity, it's going to be a revenue, or it's going to be an expense. It's going to be one of those five. You know, you can name really whatever you want in assets. You can name whatever you want in a liability. You know, you can make it really specific, really broad. Whatever is on the chart of accounts is going to be one of these five. And I wanted to show you that DC Adler uh, works, helps you out again if you're like, oh my god, I can't, I don't even know what charts are even, I don't even know what accounts are available, I don't know nothing. And as you noticed, they go from, this is, you know, uh, in the order of the chart of accounts, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so what is... So what is this? That's balance sheet, one, two, three. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. So you can just go from left to right in your accounting equation or DCA LUR, and then you know the correct order for the chart of accounts. What's revenue minus expenses? That's income statement and the income statement is revenues minus expenses four and five you got so much to work on I don't even know where to start you're like a fat kid wearing his shirt at the water park deuces